Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. We are going to wait for the others. So we are going to give time uh, to them to connect to the meeting. So we are going to wait one or two minutes uh, for the others to come. And then we are going to begin with the activities that we have for today. And also, uh, we are going to work on the knowledge check of the platform on the section number three. <clears throat> we are going to give also a video in which uh, we can make a review of the topic there is, there are. Uh, we are going to see something else that is uh, important for the, uh, the knowledge check that we are going to develop. We are going to make some reviews of different topics. Um, and then we are going to continue with the explanation of the topics that we have on the platform. Remember that this week you need to complete the section number three. And also you, get, you need to perform the exam. That is like a, a quiz in this case. So, uh, we have a lot of things to do today, but we are waiting for the others to come. that we have just one hour and we are going to um, make the review of the activities that we had yesterday. Uh, remember that I sent to you an image in which you are going to uh, just say what is the best option for uh, the statement or the sentence that you have on the image. Um, then I add another exercise on the document. So we have two different exercises on the document. We have the one that I sent to you yesterday and I add another. But in talking about uh, the whole exercise, we have four different parts. Um, the first one is the... Uh, Exercise in which you are going to say if the correct answer is there is and there are. The second exercise is uh, almost the same, but in this case, it's a negative um, exercise because you are going to say if the answer is there isn't or there aren't. And the third one is uh, explanation about the neighborhood in which we live. And we have another one in which you are going to create a statement using there is, there are. 
But in that case, you can add all the information that you want to add to the statement. I am going to send to you just the words, or I'm going to show you just the words that you are going to use um, for the exercise number four. Tenemos cuatro partes, ¿verdad? Recuerden que tenemos cuatro partes. <coughs> la primera es la que ya les enviaba. Good evening. La primera era la que yo ya les enviaba al grupo ayer, en la que ustedes solo tienen que poner there is, there are. Eh, en la segunda, que ya la, la agregué yo hoy en la tarde al documento, es donde simplemente tienen que eh, decidir si la respuesta correcta es there isn't o there aren't. La número tres, les, eh, vamos a tener tiempo para pensar, ¿verdad? En, eh, en la explicación. Tenemos que hacer una pequeña explicación. The neighborhood in which we live. En, la, uh, en el vecindario en el que nosotros vivimos, ¿verdad? Vamos a dar una pequeña explicación, un par de detalles, ¿verdad? De cómo luce el vecindario, la colonia, el pasaje donde nosotros vivimos. Um, don't worry, no se preocupe. Yo puse los dos ejercicios en el documento. <coughs> Porque sí, anoche, después de la sesión, eh, mandé la imagen del, de la parte número uno. Uh -huh. Pero están en el documento, así que no hay mucho problema, porque de todos modos ya lo vamos a, a revisar. Y la parte cuatro es la creación de oraciones utilizando el there is, there are. Y yo les voy a dar una lista de palabras que ustedes van a utilizar para crear esas oraciones. Así que vamos a comenzar con esa parte, ya que es lo que nos quedaba de ayer, para poder continuar con lo demás. So, let me go to the document. And if you are thinking that um, I am something like kind of uh, sick, and I'm not like really, really sick, but I am having like bad allergies today, so I'm not very well with uh, with my nose because I am like feeling. Like I am uh, kind of bad, <clears throat> but I am just having some allergies. So, take some medicine, teacher. Uh, the thing is, if I take the pill, I'm going to be like that because that kind of medicine okay. makes you feel asleep. But don't worry, I'm going to do it after the go class. down. Yes. So, this is the first part. Right. Tenemos dos partes acá. Number one, number two. La número uno. Complete the following sentences with there is, there are in affirmative. Esa es la parte afirmativa. Luego tenemos la dos, que es la parte negativa. Acá tenemos parte uno y parte dos. But I'm going to... Let me see if I can move this one a little bit to see the whole thing. Uh, sí, acá. Ok, vamos a ir leyendo parte por parte y vamos a ir decidiendo, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Qué es lo que mejor le queda? Vamos a empezar a leer. Voy a leerlos, luego vamos a tener un momento para analizar si ustedes ya eh, tienen sus respuestas. Wait for the others. Vamos a esperar un poquito para, los, para que los otros también lo piensen un poco. So, in the first part, my name is Annie and I live in a very big house. 23 rooms in my house, but, <clears throat> but only, uh, I'm sorry, but only 12 bedrooms. I live in one of the rooms on the third floor. In my room, a huge bed and nine windows. My bedroom is, isn't is small. On my bed, lots of pillows and my cat, Fluffy. In my closet, many toys and also many clothes. I don't have a bathroom in my bedroom, but a bathroom next to my room. Also in my house, two kitchens, a big dining room and three living rooms. The house is really big. 
So in this case, we are making like a, a, an expression or we are like expressing, explaining, showing through the words um, the house, the uh, places in the house, the things that we can find in the house. So we are making like a description of the place. But in this case, we just need to say there is or there are if we have plural things or singular things. Let's see, in the first, uh, in the first sentence, uh, we have, my name is Annie and I live in a very big house. Mi nombre es Annie y vivo en una casa muy grande. 23 rooms in my house. En ese caso, si estamos hablando de 23 habitaciones, there is or there are. There are. Very good. Lo voy a poner acá abajo, lo vamos a ir haciendo como una pequeña lista de eh, la respuesta, ¿verdad? Vamos a ponerlo así. There are. Entonces, there are 23 rooms in my house, but only 12 bedrooms. Pero solo 12 habitaciones. Hay 23 cuartos, ¿verdad? Pero solo hay 12 habitaciones. There is, there are. There are. There are. There are, porque estamos hablando de plural, ¿verdad? There are only 12 bedrooms. I live in one of the rooms on the third floor. Vivo en uno de las habitaciones o en uno de los cuartos del de el piso número 3 o de la tercera planta. Um, in my room, in mi habitación, a huge bed, una cama grande. There is, there are. There is. There is. There is, there is a huge bed. Hay una cama grande. And nine windows, nueve ventanas. There is, there are. There, there are. There are, very good. There are nine windows. Hay nueve ventanas. My bedroom is a small. Mi habitación no es pequeña. On my bed, lots of pillows. En mi cama, muchas almohadas. There is, there are. There are. There are. There are. There are lots of pillows and my cat. There is, there are. There is, there is my cat. Yes, there is my cat. Ahí está mi gato, ¿verdad? Estamos hablando solo de un gato. Fluffy. In my closet, many toys. There is, there are. There is. There is. Many, many toys. There are. There are. There are. There are. There are. There are many toys. Hay muchos juguetes. There are. Exactly. And also many clothes. There is or there are. There are. Um, okay, remember that we were saying in some cases, we have words that um, are like in plural. In this case, we have the word clothes. So in that case, what is the, um, the use of that, of that word? In el caso de clothes, siempre utilizaríamos el there are? Yes or no? Let's... With clothes, no, teacher. With clothes, no? No, but we are using many. Mm -hmm. Pero en ese caso, si en la palabra mm -hmm. ya es plural de por sí, ¿entraría en la categoría de there is or there are? There is. Los... There, there is. And uh, yesterday, a few can tell Control nose only have a plural from in English. And uh, example, clothes, pants, jeans, shorts. Uh-huh. Pero utilizábamos cuál? There is. There is. Mm. 
Ok. Vamos a, a, a ver, en este caso. Eh, it says, also many clothes. Aquí sí vamos a... Eh, normalmente utilizaríamos eh, quizás there is, porque estaríamos diciendo, ah, there is clothes, hay ropa. Pero en este caso, como si llevamos el many, aquí sí tendríamos que utilizar el there are, porque right. está diciendo hay mucha, ¿verdad? Mucha right. ropa. En ese caso son muchas prendas, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso sí es there are. Vamos a ver el siguiente. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are. Is the number eight. I think I am okay. Six, seven, eight. Yes. Number nine. And I don't have a bathroom in my bedroom, but a bathroom next to my room. No tengo un baño en mi habitación, pero un baño cerca de mi cuarto. There is or there are? There is. There is. Very good. And the last one, number 10. Uh, also in my house, two kitchens, a big dining room, and three living rooms. The house is really big. También en mi casa, dos cocinas, una gran, uh, un gran comedor, tres salas. La casa es bastante grande. So in this case, there is or there are? There are. There are, very good. There are. Excellent. Hay dos cocinas. So in that case, we use there are. Excellent. Now, we are going to see the second part. That is the letter B. I'm going to do it kind of long like this. And like this, I think. Ok, en este caso vamos a hacer el negativo. Ya hicimos la parte positiva, ahora vamos con la parte negativa. Vamos a ponerlo así. Simplemente vamos a decidir si esa oración eh, necesita un negativo o un positivo. Así que vamos a pensar, le voy a dar cinco minutos para analizar esas oraciones y decidir cuál le quedaría mejor a esa frase. So, eh, it is 8, 18, 23, 23, 24. De las 8, 23, 8, 24, damos nuestras respuestas. So, let's read the statements and let's decide.
a parte número dos. So, eh, for the first one, we have a flight from here to London. Un viaje de aquí a Londres. Podría ser, ¿cuál de las dos opciones creen ustedes que es mejor para esa frase? There is, eh, I mean, there isn't or there aren't. There isn't. There isn't. Ah, ok. Entonces vamos a ponerlo por acá. There isn't. Very good. There isn't. Number two. Any movies that I want to see in the cinema? There isn't or there aren't. Any there movies? Aren't. Ah, there okay. aren't. Ok, very good. There aren't. Number three. Uh, I'm very hungry, but any food in the refrigerator? There isn't or there aren't? There isn't. There, there isn't. Okay. okay, in this case, we are talking about uh, food. It is, in, in this case, we can say that it's an uncountable noun. So, by the rule, uh, we are going to use isn't. Si es un nombre no contable, vamos a utilizar, eh, como se dice por default, vamos a utilizar el there isn't. Sí podemos contar, ¿verdad? Algunos alimentos, pero en este caso lo vamos a aplicar como que es eh, un, un uncountable noun. Number four. We want to go to the concert, but any tickets. There isn't or there aren't. There aren't. There uh, aren't any tickets. No hay ningún ticket. Um, any money in my bank account so I can pay the bills. No tengo dinero, ¿verdad? En la cuenta bancaria no puedo pagar las cuentas. Remember that money is an uncountable noun. So there isn't or there aren't. There, there isn't. There isn't. Very good. Number six. 70 minutes in an hour. Tenemos números por acá. 70 minutes in an hour. There isn't or there, there aren't. aren't. There aren't. There isn't, there aren't. You say there aren't. There in, isn't. In this case, let's, 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 um, vamos a pensar un poco. No se preocupen ahorita por la respuesta. Um, en este caso tenemos minutos. ¿Contarían los minutos como algo contable o no contable? Contable. Algo contable, porque tenemos una, un, um, un sistema de conteo para ellos. Um, pero es igual una, una idea abstracta. Solo que como la, la forma en la que se cuenta, ¿verdad? Es... Eh, no decía nada del, del tiempo, no decía nada de los números, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso sí podemos utilizar el there are. En este caso es there aren't. Very good. Number seven. In my neighborhood, any children, there isn't or there aren't. Any children, ningún niño. Bueno, there ningún. Aren't. There aren't. Very good. En este caso sería, no hay niños, porque ah. children es plural, ¿verdad? Number eight. Henry can't bake a cake because any sugar in the cupboard. There isn't or there aren't. There isn't. There isn't. There isn't. There isn't. Porque sí, aquí el azúcar no tiene el mismo sistema de conteo que nosotros necesitamos para los eh, plurales. Number nine. It's sunny today. In a cloud in the sky. Está soleado y, obviamente sabemos que es negativo, no hay una nube en el cielo. There isn't. Very good. There isn't. The microphone is open, please. Thank you. And number 10. I'm sorry, any letters for you today? Lo siento, no hay cartas para ti hoy. There isn't or there aren't. There aren't. There aren't. Very good. No hay ninguna carta, no hay cartas. 
para ti hoy. Muy bien, excelente. Ahora, vamos con la siguiente parte. En esta, eh, we are going to make an explanation. Vamos a hacer una pequeña explicación de el lugar donde nosotros vivimos. But in this case, let me... <clears throat> we are going to answer two different questions in this uh, description. It's not going to be like kind of long. Puede ser una descripción bastante corta. So in this case, I, I'm going to write like this. Describe your neighborhood. Tenemos dos preguntas. What is there in your neighborhood? What is there in your neighborhood? And what doesn't exist? Esa es la pre las dos preguntas, ¿verdad? Que tenemos que eh, tratar de contestar con esta descripción. Vamos a poner como cosas bastante generales de cómo luce el lugar donde vivimos, algunas cosas que podemos encontrar en ese lugar y otras cosas que eh, no, no hay y que tal vez nos gustaría que hubiera. Eh, for example, we can say, uh, I live in a very peaceful neighborhood. Um, there aren't a lot of children. It's kind of weird, but all of them are uh, adults now. Um, in my neighborhood, we don't have um, a police station. Uh, we don't have um, some doctors. And also, you can't um you can hear a lot of noises because it is kind of silent here description es bastante sencilla es como ah mi el lugar donde yo vivo es muy eh, ruidoso eh, el lugar donde yo vivo es bastante calmado eh, es, es divertido porque eh, hacen eventos eh, de lo que sea no hay y ahí agregamos listas de cosas que no hay. No hay un supermercado, no hay eh, una estación de policía, no hay una clínica. We can make like a very short description of the place in which we live. So I'm going to give you again five minutes to make your description. Vamos a utilizar cinco minutos, 8.37. A las 8.35 lo vamos a decir de forma oral. Vamos a ir escogiendo quienes nos van a ayudar a decir sus descripciones. No, lo, no vamos a hablar todos, pero sí vamos a tratar de buscar varias uh, personas que nos ayuden. So, you have five minutes to complete this exercise number three. Vamos a completar el ejercicio número tres. So, let's go. Alexa, ¿cómo se dice residencial?
teacher description. Eh, si alguien ya está listo, puede eh, comenzar a expresando, ¿verdad?, la descripción que hizo sobre su neighborhood. Mi teacher. Tell me. Um, the microphone is open. Podrían apagar su micrófono. Gracias. In my neighborhood, the weather is very fresh. Uh, in my neighborhood, is there are two supermarkets. In my neighborhood, is very silent at night. Who is the next one? ¿Quién quiere ser el siguiente? Me, teacher. Tell me. Okay. Um, in my neighborhood, uh, there is a park in police station. Uh, the streets are very big and clean. Um, the children play in the park and the neighbors are very happy. Okay, very good, excellent. Next one. Someone else? Okay, teacher, go ahead. Okay, let's go. Good evening, Good evening everyone. Well, uh, I live in the suburbs and in my neighborhood doesn't exist, exist nothing special. But I have, uh, or there are a uh, lot of, lot of children. There isn't any police department, but there are uh, around five hills back to my house. Oh my God. Okay, very good. Thank you. Someone else, alguien más. One more and we're going to end with the other activity. Uno más y pasamos a la siguiente actividad. Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. Uh, in my neighborhood is a, a, a noise place. Uh, my house is into a street and there are a special family always that are making a uh, parties until midnight wow okay thank you uh, and what doesn't exist in okay. my neighborhood okay, um, okay i think so um there are in uh, restaurants and the banks um um Supermarket. <laughs> okay, the supermarket. Yes, that's all. <laughs> okay, very good. Excellent. Good job. Muy bien, excelente. Gracias por sus participaciones. I take the screen out. Quite la, la pantalla porque voy a ponerles las palabras que vamos a utilizar para la última actividad. Son solo 10 palabras, así que no se preocupen porque no vamos a hacer mucho trabajo. It's kind of short. So in this case, you are going to use there is and there are. Even you can use negative. Si ustedes quieren utilizar negativos, también pueden utilizar negativos. Um, y pueden utilizar cualquiera de las formas. Si usted quiere hacer algo en plural y la palabra está en singular, usted la puede cambiar a plural. Así que vamos a hacer 10 eh, palabras. Ustedes van haciendo oraciones. Esta sí la vamos a poner en el chat para irlas eh, eh, copiando rápidamente en el documento. Así que vamos a, cre a crear algunas oraciones. So let me write the words. And give me a second. Eso sí, poniendo la pantalla y usted ya tiene una, una oración en mente, usted la coloca y vamos avanzando.
Ok. Let's see the words. Vamos a ver las palabras. And we have 10 words. Key, three, music, book, floor, food, minute, star, restaurant, and coffee. 10 palabras sencillas. Si ya tenemos una oración que vaya con esa palabra utilizando there is y there are, usted la puede ir colocando directamente en, el, el, en la caja del chat y yo las voy a ir colocando a la par de la palabra que ya tenemos en la lista. So, let's write some examples and we are going to have it on the document. Okay, we have one here.
here. Uh, okay, let me see, I have it here. Okay. Okay, thank you very much for uh, the participation. So we have here some uh, statements. We have, there aren't any keys in the kitchen. My key is there. Um, in this case, in the second one, I add the number three and also the threes that are uh, arable. So there are three cars. There is a big three. There are many trees in my house. Then there is some music. Okay. I have another one. Restaurant, restaurant here. Okay. Then uh, there is my favorite book on the shelf. There are many books in the library. There is a ceramic floor in my house. There are five computers on the floor. There is food on the table. There is a lot of food in the fridge. There are five minutes left. There are 10 more minutes for lunch. There are a lot of stars in front of on my window every night. And there is a star in the sky. Um, there is my favorite restaurant over there. There are not many restaurants around my house. And the last one, there is a coffee, there is coffee in the cup. So we have here um, some of the statement that you have created with the, uh, with there is and there are. I'm going to, there is not coffee in the coffee maker. Oh, very good. I'm going to show you the video. That is like the closing part of the topic. Esa es como la última parte del de tema. Vamos a ver el video en estos minutos que nos quedan y vamos a completar. Yo creo que sí llegamos a completar lo que es el de eh, noble check porque el video es just 10 minutes 29 seconds. So let's see the video and then we are going to see the. Eh, the knowledge check. So let's pay attention to the video. This is just like a review. Hey everyone, welcome back to another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions. On. Next to. Near. Close to. Across from. Opposite. In front of. In back of. Behind. Between. On the corner of. If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes, there is, or no, there isn't. If your answer is yes, there is, you may continue by saying, yes, there is. There is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center 
is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronic store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. Okay, on the video we can uh, listen about the use of there is, there are, one, any, and some. And also, uh, we have a, like a different part in which we are talking about the preposition. But uh, we are going to make a review of the prepositions uh, tomorrow, and we are going to complete this one because we have 10 different uh, statements here. It's the same image. Uh, that we have on the video. So we are going to say uh, the position of the places that we have on the image. So in the number one, is there a near here? Yes, there is one. Is uh, It is on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. Elm Street and Maple Avenue. What is that place? ¿Qué es lo que está diciendo que está en la esquina de Elm Street y Maple Avenue? A library, a hotel, or a park? Hotel. A hotel, very good. There is, is there a around here? Yes, there is one. It is next to the Prince Grocery Store. Prince Grocery Store está a la par. Entonces, hablamos de un bank, gym, or laundromat? Bank. Bank, very good. Number three, is there a near here? Yes, there is. There is one on the main street behind Parker's Drugstore. Atrás de Parker's Drugstore. ¿Qué es lo que está detrás? Park, choice, gym, or a department store? Department store. Department store. Then we have, is there on Pine Avenue? No, there isn't, but there is one on First Avenue and Main Street. Tenemos uno en First Avenue and Main Street. What is this? A uh, coffee, gas station, or hotels? Gas station. gas station. Okay, gas station. Number five, we are almost there. Are there on Main Street? No, there aren't. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. Um, no, no hay. Hay algunas buenas tiendas on Pine Street. Está preguntando por hoteles, public library, or grocery stores. Grocery store. Okay. Number six. Is there a near here? Yes, there is. It is between the post office and all days department. Está entre el post office and all days department store. A gym, show a store or grocery store? Gym. A gym. Okay. Number seven, is there a on Second Avenue? No, there isn't. There is one on Fifth, First Avenue across from Shopping Center. Electronic store, park, or bank? Electronic store. Okay. Number eight. Casi terminamos. Is there a around here? Yes, there is. There is one on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. Tenemos tres opciones. Public library, payphone, and drugstore. Payphone. 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 Okay. Number nine. Uh, is there a uh, near here? Yes, there is one next to the gas station. Está cerca de la gas station. Hotel, cafe, public library. Public library. Public library. Okay, public library. And the last one. Are there any on First Avenue? No, there aren't. There are some on Maple Street. Hay algunos en Maple Street. Restaurants, gas station, grocery stores. 
restaurant. Restaurant. Ok, vamos a ver las respuestas. Y todas están correctas. Very good. So, we're going to end the session here. And we are going to see each other tomorrow on the next session. So, have a really good night. And see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Keep up better. Keep up better, teacher. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.